Well, who's the biggest celebrity that you would like to meet? That I would like to meet? Yeah. That's alive? <laughs> you don't want to meet somebody dead, because that's... Shit, yeah. So, yeah, somebody alive right now. Somebody alive that I can meet right now? And meet, like, what do you mean by meet? Like, just All right, meet, sleep like, with, Hi! sleep with, or sleep meet, with. like, ooh, you gonna help my career, mother <laughs> Let me suck your d- up. <laughs> Nice hand for Maria Bamford, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on, is anyone, I hope people are on the internet dating or are here with somebody they have met on eHarming Me. Uh, I have uh, been on that side. I've been on OK Stupid. And then I've also been on Attach.Glom. And uh, I have to be honest, I used to lie. Uh, I used to act like I was more active on those sites. Yeah, try to make everyone like me. Yeah, look guys, I can I can uh, uh, lace up a tutu and go to the steakhouse, or I can uh, strap us both on a boxcar and ride the rails. <laughs> no, I work hard. I play hard. I'll rest when I'm dead. I'll, I'll rest when I'm Ted, and I'll never be that guy. Oh. <laughs> Got your, uh, got your passport? Let's go parasail glide biking in Rio Guam Kwai. <laughs> but the truth is, uh, my current ad reads, I can wear the same outfit for five days or I can crouch naked in the shower and get real small. <laughs> A sleep hard. A dream harder! <laughs> You're teetering on the brink of a schizophrenia, I think. Well, uh, schizophrenia... <laughs> Do you ever feel that way? Well, Kevin, uh, schizophrenia is uh, hearing voices, not doing voices. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure. I'm, uh, people... <laughs> gotcha. Snap. Develop a, uh, I'm trying to a- develop an animated uh, character to educate people about schizophrenia. I'm Sid, the schizophrenic squid. Say hello, I might say hi back if I'm not distracted by the cacophony of sensory hallucinations that bombard me at every turn. Shut up, Charlton Heston, my feet are on fire. Uh, it's a hilarious disease. Uh, now, are you dating now, Maria? Oh, yeah, I'm always, um, well, now, but My, you work on the road a lot, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to keep a relationship going. Right. Well, no, I got, I got time. I mean, on the road, there's only you know two oh, shows so a night. one night stands. One night no, stands. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know, you can. I mean, from what I've read about guys, they don't want to be that close, anyways. So you know what I'm saying? When I'm, I'm gone for two nights. It's exciting when I come back. That type yeah, of deal. That's good. <laughs> you know, like, because I don't get asked out that much, except on the road where it's sort of like people who are like. I saw you on the internet, and I just, I just kind of came here, just hoping that maybe I can get a kiss. <laughs> and those people are obviously available, uh, but not necessarily. But not, yeah. <laughs> But you know, I I never even think of a kiss. Like when you said, "Can I get a kiss?" I'm thinking right away. I thought maybe we could go back and have sex. You know? Oh, I don't. I don't I think I'm getting older. I don't get as much. I think when I was younger, maybe some somebody would be. I like when that. people say, "Maybe I'm getting older." Mm-hmm. Well, you definitely. We everybody's definitely for getting sure. older. <laughs> Clearly, it's happening. What's the oldest guy you'd go out with? Uh, yeah, I don't go more than ten, just because it seems. Ten years kinda, old. No, ten years old. Oh, ten old. years older. Okay. All right. and, and I don't go younger. It, that it just seems kind of so. Creepy. It's a ten, a ten bookend. Yeah, thing. ten. Like that seems a lot. Otherwise, you stop having things in common. I would think, or they start saying things like, "Up, up," or else, <laughs> or else you're saying things like, "No." Maria Bant for ladies Thank and gentlemen, so give her a nice Thank hand. Give her a nice hand, Adam. Adam <laughs> Ray, give him a nice hand. I like doing stand-up as a job. Beats what I was doing before this. For six years, I worked at Universal Studios Hollywood, the theme park. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You work there, too? Oh, you work at Disneyland. All right. Well, you share my pain. <laughs> Made your parents proud. Um, I played Wolverine for six years, right? So I was one of the X-Men. Uh, yeah, I was 
living the dream. And, uh, you know, the best part, honestly, about the job, there are some really cool things that come along. Like, because the kids, they look at you and they actually think you're the characters. Like, that is such a weird situation to be a part of, right? There was a kid four years old on my second day on the verge of tears. He walks up to me, he's like, <laughs> you're just about my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, right? And I was like, oh my God, you are such a nerd. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> This kid is never going to get laid. You know, it was adorable, don't get me wrong, but to me, as soon as he said that, I'm like, dude, I'm, a, I'm just a Jewish guy in a blue spandex suit, right? With a wig and fake metal claws, right? I'm just, I'm trying to make a few extra bucks, right? Just straight out of college. And this kid's calling me his hero. It th threw me off. I never heard that word thrown on me before, right? Put a lot of pressure on me. I had to talk him down. I was like, hero? Hero? Dude, take it easy with that word, buddy. Dude, kid, let me tell you something. Last week, I got high and stole bread from Ralph's, all right? I'm not somebody we'll be looking up to. I do weird shit. Man, why don't you go talk to Spider-Man? He just graduated law school, all right? Hey, tell me about Universal Studios. Well, I started out as a tour guide, and then I, uh, on the tram. Son of a bitch. Yeah. You know, I tried to get a job as a tour guide there when I first moved out here. All they can give me was crowd control in the parking lot. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Well, you know, the lights, the sticks. I said, you could take that job and shove it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't all cracked up. Do you I mean, remember the tour at all? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd make up a lot of shit because... Uh, because people, they didn't, nobody really knew the facts. They yeah. give you this whole notebook of facts about every spot. But I would, people were taking pictures. So I, we drive by bushes. I was Tell like, me the Jaws thing, though. You're going by the Jaws thing. Coming up on it. Oh, God. Um, Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, so we point it back. Um, Here's what I would say. You'd be remembering it. I'll tell you what I'd say. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up right now on your right, you'll see the famous town of uh, uh, Amityville. Amityville, yeah. And... Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> there was some word that there was a uh, spotting of a shark there, uh, but uh, <laughs> I think that's nonsense. Yeah, we got a great summer ahead of us. We got a lot of good swimming, <laughs> and um, so keep your hands inside just in case. Uh, and then we go across the bridge, and what happens? And then you stop, and then uh, you go, "Hey, there's uh, there's Steve. Our friend Steve is out there." Uh, hey, wave to Steve, everybody. Well, Steve, wave to Steve, everybody. He's in the scuba. God, it's so cheesy. <laughs> and uh, and so Steve's in the water. And you're like, oh, look at Steve, and he's uh, just checking the waters for us. And then uh, and then and then all of a sudden there's a then shark there's a scuba coming. diver that comes out of the yeah. And then he pops boat. up and like and he, so everybody uh, wave to Steve. And then he goes down. And then the music starts. And then you see the shark fin. You're like, oh wait a minute, wait wait, wait a minute, Steve. Oh, okay, Steve. No, Steve, you need to get out of there. Steve, Steve, everybody yell at me, but please help me. Steve, we got to get out of the water. Steve, Steve. And I would flip <laughs> out. And I would just like really try to commit to it because I was like, I'm a f actor. And uh, <laughs> and uh, and I went to. Four years at USC, <laughs> and f now I'm working at a f theme park. And uh, so I would commit to it, and then the shark and Jaws would take him down, and I would just go ape, and I would scream and yell. And some th to the point, one of my bosses wrote my evaluation to her, and they had to tone me down because there was a couple that, like, the kid was crying because I was flipping out so much. I was like, sweet God, Steve, get out of the water. God damn it, don't you listen? And this kid's like, what the f is going on right now? Why is he screaming at an animatronic? And the kid knew what an animatronic was. I know, like, uh, how old were you then? Like 23 or something? Yeah, 20, 23. Probably scoping out all the girls on the tram. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh... Trying to impress them. I mean, I was, trying, I was pretty focused on my job, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> I, I was pretty you. focused on the, on the bullshit facts. Did you ever get an acting job offer from that? Um, there was a guy who I could tell was not in the business. Cause <laughs> he came up to me and he was like, because we did this one tra uh, tour and I would make up things. Cause people, like I said, people would take pictures. So we drove by these bushes and I was like, if you remember, folks, those bushes were in the movie uh, Bushes 1 and the sequel Bushes 2, <laughs> Attack of the Bushes. You might remember that scene when Al Pacino was like, oh, that's a lot of bushes. And people just started taking pictures. People just started taking pictures of bushes. And so the guy comes up, he's like, you know, it was really funny when you did that little Bushes bit. You did that Bushes bit. That was real funny. You know, I'm a casting officer. And I was like, that officer. doesn't sound right at all. Yeah. And he goes, I'm a casting officer. I run an office. And, uh, and we'd love to have you in for some projects. <laughs> he runs an oh. office. Yeah. So as he said that, I was just like, nah, I don't know. And I was like, well, can I have a card? And he's like, fresh out of cards. Been giving them out all day. And I was like, all right. So I'll send my assistant over with a cashier's check. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. So I know you have to go. Yeah. Because you got... Uh, you got another tour coming up. You sure. got the tram is leaving in another five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a nice hand for Adam Ray, Thank ladies you so and much. Gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. Adam Ray. <laughs> nice hand for Tiffany Haddish. Give him a nice hand. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. I want to be somebody when I grow up. I always want to be, I want to be, I want to be a huge star. Not physically, but I want to be big. <laughs> like the next Holly Berry slash Jim Carrey with that Oprah Winfrey money. You know mother rich. <laughs> but I 
I've been watching all these celebrities, and I'm like, what can I do to get to the next level? So when my TV show drops, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do to get it to the next level. Because I've been seeing all these actresses out here, and they've been going all around the world, buying these, I mean, adopting these black babies. <laughs> and I'm sick of the shit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adopt me some white babies from Canada. They're going to be beautiful. They're going to have blue eyes and blonde hair. They're going to be beautiful little babies. Tell them they're going to be so cute. I'm going to get five of them. I'm going to start me a hair meal so I don't have to buy this no more. You feel me? I'm giving them hair vitamins and everything. Grow that hair for mama. Grow that hair. No, f*** that. I ain't going to let them call me mama. Mm -mm. They're going to call me master so they know who paid good money for them. F*** that. That's real talk, brother. So Tiffany, yeah. Tiffany Haddish. Yes, Kevin Nealon. Don't ever use the N-word like that, Nealon. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's the biggest celebrity that you would like to meet? That I would like to meet? Yeah. That's alive? <laughs> you don't want to meet somebody dead, because that's... Well, shit, I so yeah, somebody alive right now. Somebody alive that I can meet right now? And meet like, what do you mean by meet? Like, just meet, all right, like, sleep Hi. with, sleep with, or sleep meet, with. Like, oh, you gonna help my career, mother? Let me suck your. Uh, <laughs> yes, Uma Thurman, I will suck your. Uma. Uh. I know you very well, and I just met you. I know that you are very shy. I am. And and this is just a side of you that's like an. Addict. Yeah, whenever I get a microphone in my hand, anything in my hand, anything, like, anything. I get <laughs> <laughs> You what are you are in this business it. for the right uh, reasons. You <laughs> yeah. are you are you know exactly. What I'm in it to make an empire. You're in it to win it. To empire. Empire. <laughs> Oprah pyre. Oprah pyre. How did Oprah become so successful? Is she a role model for you? She is. Because you are following in her footsteps. I am, ain't I? <laughs> because you are what? I'm you... talking to the people. <laughs> Look at how you connect with all these white folks. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to cross the color lines. <laughs> That's from living with all them white people when I was in foster care. They taught me what. <laughs> no, but um, who? No, but for serious though, the one cele for serious, the one celebrity that I would really, really like to meet um, and just like get to pick their brain is Oprah. I'm well, I've got a surprise for you. What? I've got a surprise for you. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Stedman, come on down, buddy. <laughs> no. Yeah, because you want to know. You want to know how that happened. I don't think she knows how it happened. She knows how it happened. I don't think so. Yeah. It, it, it all happened over a table you had a, with some blow on it and three white men. <laughs> oh. Let's go on on that one. Let's give Tiffany Haddish a nice hand. Thank you, baby. Nice hand for Godfrey. Give him a nice hand. Godfrey. I'm really into, I don't know what it is, I'm really into prison shows. I f***ing, thank you. Someone just, woo! How f***ing wonderful are prison shows? Am I f***ed up that I want people to continue to do crimes? Because I want more f***ing shows. I love prison shows because they always got the, it's always the most evil prison no matter what prison. You know, it's Kentucky State Prison where they are prisoners. Uh, they just do that. And the prisoners are like, and they always have different levels of fucking lockdown. They'll have like lightweight lockdown, then they'll get to that one main prisoner, right? And he's so fucking mean, he's killed everybody. And he's interviewed just his eyeball is only because he's tied up to the bed. He can't even use anything. Everything's been used as a weapon. His penis was sharpened. He killed the motherfucker. They had to take his penis away. And he, <laughs> they shaved his lashes off because he used that shit as a knife. And, and then he's like, <laughs> and they, they all sound the same. Hey, man, I've been here a long time. A long time, baby. I've been here a long time. But guess what? They may lock me up, but they ain't got this. And you're like, they got you. They got you. They got everything. They got that. They got everything. 
So just go to sleep. Okay, they got you. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. How is your shit better than mine? I'm free. So, Godfrey, let's say yes, you go to sir. prison. What do you do? First day there. This is what I thought about, okay. too. You want to join a gang. Okay. okay. I'm good at talking big. Until right. the actual the, the uh, things start coming at me, oh yeah, like oh. I will really talk it, like to see if I could like talk them down before yeah. you yeah. like. Uh, let's say you want me to join your. Let's say you want to oh. anal rape oh. me. Whoa, <laughs> I'm not saying you don't want to. It's gonna be a tough one because I don't know how to even act that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that good of an actor. Holy shit. Okay, ready? All right, how's this? Let's I'm say you, do let's a, a nice. Okay. A, a, you you a just night. walked into my cell. Here's an Eddie, Eddie Murphy voice. Hey man, <laughs> <laughs> I want to anally rape your ass, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get that ass, man. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> That's how we used to talk in the uh, 80s. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do Nick Nolte. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know impressions. Listen, there, God damn it. <laughs> but mine is like the real. Now, what like, would you do? I well, said I want to get in that ass. Okay, so I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna. Bu- I'm not gonna come right out like and you start yelling at you, swearing. Okay, mine is do? very like okay. cerebral. It's dry. It's like. Yeah. I say it again. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Me and my boys wanna get in that ass. Yeah. We won't get in that ass. You heard what we said. We gonna I'm get sorry. all up in that. Don't I'm go so- to sleep. I'm sorry. Did you say something? Oh, oh, now the motherfucker can't hear his shit. I said we gonna get in your ass, tall man. Nice tall glass of milk, man. <laughs> And some of us are lactose intolerant. <laughs> See, now by now, I know you're all talk. Because you've been talking a lot and you're not, you're no action. You're all walking, no, ac- no ass. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, by now, the warden's come by because he's heard a lot of commotion. Yeah, okay. See, the way I play it smart. I just sit and I let them get all uh, riled up. And the warden comes and he goes, what's going on? Nothing. We just, we just uh, want to be friends with this man. Yeah. And I we want to all stick behind him <laughs> in all his endeavors. And this is where I start communicating with my eyes to the warden. Because I'm not on the same thing. So how are you going to do it? This is me. The warden's here. All right. You just finished what you said. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, man? <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and what if we have a deal with the warden? <laughs> we go back and forth. I go. <laughs> I start communicating by blinking. SOS. SOS. Now it's an orgy. Holy shit. <laughs> Nice to have for Godfrey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>